Got one, Walt. Got one. Hey, here we go. I'm out here with my buddy Jensen Qualley, and we're going for a little walleyes and white bass. We'll see what we get. This one hit, smacked it hard. Oh, yeah, there's oh, a it's decent a good, one. It's a decent walleye. Yeah, there we go. Good way to start her. Seemed to be in post spawn, so. Nice little male. Little male, yep. Got to be 15 inches out here, so I'm sure that one's 14. So we'll just let him go. You got a good one there, buddy? No, he feels like a little one. Little he pops one? it pretty hard, though. Yeah. Yeah, looks like a small male. Oh, yeah, he gobbled it right down. Hey, he popped it pretty good, pretty hard hit. See you, buddy. A little better one. Seems like they're way down river on that little bit more of a current break seam. Yeah. <clears throat> You gotta work the whole areas around. Yeah. It's got a little deep hole, you got a little pockets, you got this, you got that. Yeah, this one feels decent. What weight jig were you using? This was a quarter ounce quarter one. Ounce? This is actually that sparkly one with the glitter, like the yeah. rougher paint. Glitter jigs, yeah. Gives it a little more shine. Yeah, it's a nice little one. A little bigger one. There we go. There you go. That looks like to be a keeper even. Nice male. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Another one, right in that slack right water. In slack yeah. water. Yeah. Right on the edge of the foam there where it's making it, there's a little pocket there. And yeah. They're sitting right on that edge. Yeah, just one good hard pop when they hit it. Yeah. They like that real bright color. That in the water is so stained, they can actually probably see it down there. It's like fishing in a coffee pot. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> little guy. We're fishing up towards Nakusa, up by the paper mill. This is actually as far as you can go on the northern end of here by Nakusa. And then right on the other side is the Nakusa Dam. And the walleyes migrate all the way up here and here to spawn, and they're pretty much been done for a while, but sitting on the rock piles, and now we're gonna chase them down river. I think we're gonna head back down and try to get some white bass mixed in, because the white bass are moving up, up now, and the walleyes are moving back down, but it doesn't seem like to be too many up here, so we'll start working our way down river. We'll find a big pod. A little better one? Yeah, there yep. we go. There we go. Nice. This one's a little bigger. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Small mouth walleye. Yeah, we got a... There we go, yeah. there we go. We switched over from the ringworm that we're using this morning. We're using the pulsar now, and it has more of a paddle tail to it, more of a hard thump to it. it water's warming up, so we're trying to trigger more strikes here, but I think you're still throwing a ringworm. I'm right? still throwing a ringworm, yeah. yeah. You can see the difference in here. You got a big thumper tail here. This, the, the pulsar's got a bigger, beefier body, but this tail is always, always in motion. You can feel it, yeah. actually. When you, when you pull through the current, you can feel it, the vibration action on it. Yep. Got one there, old man? Yeah, old man got <laughs> one. Holy he cow. It good, I know. A good one? It feels pretty good. Yep, feels better than yours, because it's on mine. <laughs> one of the things I like when I'm wally fishing in dirty water is a, is a high-vis fluorescent braid. I know there's different colors. You got a green one, I got a yellow one, but there's all different companies. But the 10 pound test, that seems to be the, the right test. It's got like a diameter of two pound test mono. So really seems to be helpful, you know, in detecting the bites and whatnot. He fought much oh. bigger than he was. But yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna make the cut. But oh, hey. come on, make it, make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna make the cut. No. There he is. Grabbed it while I was sitting still, and he was light, and then he got heavier. 15 right on the head. <laughs> this one feels a little bit better, but they all fight nice in the current, though. We've been deceived before, yeah. young fella. He inhaled her. Nice little one. That one was farther back. What you're doing is casting kind of at an angle. We're trying to let it just slip down and these fish are right sitting in the hole right behind us. We're just kind of sneaking our bait down through, bouncing around, you know, and the fish are sitting in that back hole and it's just floating down river, coming down and it's dropping right in their face and they're catching them directly in that hole. That time- Another one, Walt? A much, yeah, much, I made a much shorter cast that time. And uh, so it was taking a shallower swing. I think what we're gonna do is reposition up on the break more. Let me tell you, this thing, he's fighting like a, a good fighter. Yeah. 
And they fight well. They fight really good on them St. Croix rods. Yeah, they do. There, there nice we go. Done. Yeah, we've got a few nice ones out of here. Same program, quarter ounce chartreuse jig and nice ringworm. Yeah, nice ringworm. Yeah, this one's a ringworm. He's catching them on the ringworm. I yep. think I might switch over to the ringworm. Yeah. I made a long cast way down to hit on the very end of the hole, very the farthest end of my cast. Oh, that is a nice one. There we go. Yep. There, there we go. Hey. hey there we go. Nice. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Yep. That one really he popped it. Hey, Jesse, thanks for taking me out. We no did problem. pretty good today. Jesse's with Greenwater Walleye's Guide Service. If you want to catch some walleyes, give him a call. Otherwise, uh, if you're looking for some jigs and plastic, Bee Fishing Tackle's a place to go. BeeFishingTackle.com. I'm Walt Matten, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.